This past weekend, Auburn University crowned its 100th homecoming queen. In Auburn University, Miss Homecoming is Molly Ann Dutton. But it's Molly's, Molly Ann's personal story that is inspiring the nation this morning. Her biological mother became pregnant after being sexually assaulted, and she was pressured by her husband at the time to abort the unborn child or face divorce. But along with the support of a Christian adoptive agency, Molly Ann was born and immediately adopted into a loving family. 22 years later, she's using her own voice to help other women choose life. Joining us now, Auburn University's newly crowned homecoming queen, Molly Ann Dutton. Welcome and thanks for being with us, Molly Ann. Thank y'all for having me. You know, your mom's story is certainly one of struggle and also just perseverance and making a choice for life. And the fact that you decided to take up that cause um, and do something about it is remarkable. Tell everyone how that decision came about to do that. Absolutely. I knew if I wanted to share one story on Auburn's campus, I did want it to be impactful and reach all different areas of Auburn's campus. And through the encouragement of two of my friends, um, we were actually at lunch and we kind of tossed a couple of ideas out there. And I walked away from the table and they started chatting and I came back to the table and their eyes were vibrant. And I asked them, what are y'all talking about? And they said, Molly Ann, you need to share your story because I have been graced with a very impactful story. Yes. And um, from there, all three of us started tearing up, which isn't very rare for three women to get together and right. start crying. But however, it was just confirmation that that's the words that Auburn were gonna, was going to hear. Well, they certainly knew your story. Uh, will you share with America now the story that got you to this point of your mom at Absolutely. 22? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm actually the youngest of six kids and the latter four of us are all adopted. So we filter in from all different families. And my biological mom was a young married woman who lived in California and through some series of events, she found herself the victim of sexual assault and pregnant through that act. And um, she went to talk to her husband and talk through this. And he just based, or gave her an ultimatum to either abort the child or suffer a divorce but that's when her journey did take her down south to Birmingham, Alabama. And there in Birmingham, she found Lifeline Adoption Agency. And Lifeline is not just an adoption agency, but it serves as a banner for education, prevention, and support for women and men going through those really critical times in their lives. So my mother walked into the office and needed counseling and because that resource was made available to her she decided to give birth to me and here I am sitting here before y'all 22 years later declaring how radiant my life has been and um, like you said earlier my um, my parents were actually serving on the board of Lifeline when my birth mother walked in the doors and that's where those lines connected and since then I have been in a very loving home and lighting up the world, you certainly are. Talk about Light Up Life. This is your true cause. There have been glow sticks and t-shirts out there, and that's your slogan. What does that mean to you and everyone? Yes, yeah, so we really um, were very interested to see how we were going to display this. What's been hilarious is the from Friday to Monday of this past week, we tried to prepare ourselves how 25,000 Auburn students were going to receive this story. And we had no idea how the public was going to receive the story. That was just not in our mindset. And we knew there were a lot of stigma or there, words like sexual assault or abortion or even life carries a stigma in itself, mm -hmm. a negative stigma. Um, however, we knew that we wanted to make it fun and to know that life is so light and radiant. And that's how Light Up Life began. And we tossed around like this is a story of restoration and hope and those were in the mix of all of this, but Light Up Life was so perfect because it is something to be celebrated. And like you said, we had glow sticks and t-shirts. We passed out daisies on the Aww. concourse just to celebrate what life really is. You know, Molly Ann Dutton, you are a difference maker. You're a living proof of that. And I love that the choice of life is something you're bringing to the foreground. Um, we wish you well. You're graduating this year and you continue to just light up life around you. Thanks for being with Thank us. Thank you this so morning. much. Thank you.